A woman who escaped years of alleged captivity at a home in Cleveland has a connection to East Tennessee. Now, her story made national headlines today. Amanda Berry was 16 years old when she was last seen back in 2003. And then yesterday, a neighbor heard her yelling for help. He smashed through the front door, got her out, and Barry was able to call 911. Oh, man, Amanda Barry. I've been kidnapped, and I've been missing for 10 years, and I'm, I'm here. I'm free now. Amazing. Barry, again, is from Cleveland, Ohio, but has family in Elizabethan, including her father. Six News reporter Mona Nyer joins us now live from Elizabethan with more from the family. Mona. Lori and Jean were standing outside Amanda Berry's father's house. This is the home he lives in with her grandfather, as well as several other relatives. It's also the home for the first 17 years of her life. In the first few years, the family says they clung on to hope. But the more time that passed, the more they wondered if Amanda Berry was alive. Born in the last decade that Barry was missing were several of her nieces and nephews, relatives she'll now be united with. Here's Amanda's cousin talking about getting the news that Barry had been found. I started screaming and crying and just all kinds of emotions at once. Just screaming to my mom and my husband, you know, she's alive, they found her. Duh. What did she say? I spoke to her today for just a few minutes. Um, just, hi, how am I? I asked her the same thing, you know. Um, she had met my son, but not my daughter. And she said that her sister had told her. I said, you got all kinds of cousins and told me to take care of our papaw. And we said we loved each other, I don't know how many times, and that we would talk more later. Barry's mother passed away in 2006, making her dad the sole parent alive to get this news. He's at home but recovering from surgery. We're told that he... The family says they don't have an exact timeline of when they plan to go see Amanda as well as her six-year-old child, but certainly they hope to do that soon. And stay tuned at 11. We'll have a lot more on this story for you from the family. Reporting live in Elizabethton, Mona Nyer, 6 News. All right, Mona, thank you. Such an incredible story. Now, police have arrested these three men, their brothers, Ariel Pedro and O'Neill Castro, in connection with the kidnappings. As Mona said, we'll have more from the family coming up at 11.